Here's a video review for another long-awaited addition to my collection, the Shadow Commander trailer set. Um, it's basically a repaint for Nemesis Prime of the uh, City Commander set for Ultra Magnus. Um, real quick, I'm going to transform Nemesis Prime here into uh, robot mode. I'm not going to, again, sit here and go step by step. Um, I have reviewed this mold several, several times. And um, if you want to see a more detailed look at his transformation, uh, there are certainly videos on my site, more than one, uh, where you can see that. Um, let's we'll pop this off. I just wanted to give. It, I just want to have him in vehicle mode, so you can see a shot of what the trailer looked like attached um, in vehicle mode. I won't go ahead. We're not even going to bother flipping his head up. So pretty much for this, you just want to transform him all the way to robot mode except for his head. Like, so he'll be like that. Now, on to the trailer itself here. And you can see it's black and teal, it matches Shadow Commander. And unlike the City Commander set, you can see there's a new little piece here um, with a sword for... Nemesis Prime, or for Shadow Commander, whatever you want to call him. Uh, transformation again, it's the same as City Commander. You want to pull this waste piece off and open it up like that. Uh, then you flip these little panels here on the trailer itself up and remove this whole top part. Set that aside. Then you open up these little panels on the side and pull the whole end off the trailer. You separate these. Flip this piece back and fold that up on the heel. Set that aside. Open that. Close that. And set that aside. We'll go ahead and pull those down. Um, the top part, we'll pull this back piece off. Separate it. And fold this tab down and over. And again over here. Down and over. So you have the shoulder pieces. Uh, the front part, you want to separate these two pieces off from the main part, pull them around, and turn the hand away from the flap that has the hinge. So the thumb is away from the flap. Easy way to remember how that works. Um, like that. Then you want to take this, open this up, and flip out his head. And you'll see it is it is a different head than the City Commander set. He has a face plate. Um, give me just a second for I forgot to get the box out of the closet. Alrighty. Real easy. Um, it comes in, just if you just want to see the box, it's a purple and teal version of the uh, City Commander box. Um, and in that box, the accessories... Um, the uh, you get the comic book instruction manual and the sticker sheet which is in there uh, but you also get this little baggie and in this little baggie there's a bunch of little black posts um, and those black posts are used um, instead of just gluing the whole set together they actually uh, designed this um, with screw holes to screw the pieces together and you, if you don't like those you can take these little black posts and stick them in those holes and um, fill those in if you'd like um, also, like I said, this face has the, um, the, the the mouth plate on it, but they also give you, in the bag, um, the original uh, Ultra Magnus uh, City Commander face with the mouth um, matched in the same silver and with red eyes. If you want to, you can, you can pop the head off and you can just pull the little face plate out and slide this other one in, um, which is a neat little feature. I, li I like the face plate. Uh, mouth plate because it just uh, gives them some difference from from Ultra Magnus. Anyway, onto the deassembly. Uh, you pull this piece out right here, and you're going to fold this in half to form his giant gun. Now here is a difference here. This little piece, this little uh, sword hinge, it's just a little post. You just twist it out, and there's a little post. And you can plug that into the back or the side of uh, Shadow Commander to clip his sword in robot mode. 
Um, and then this brace piece, just like on City Commander, attaches to the gun to make the gun. Now, to uh, combine the whole robot, you want to take your uh, Nemesis Prime here with his head down. You want to take this piece and slide it right on over his chest like that. It should click into place like that. And then you just fold these pieces down. And then you take the shoulder pieces and clip them on to the shoulders. Again, if you have City Commander, you, you know the drill. Um, take the arms, slide them up on his forearms until they click into place like that. Same here. Slide it on until it clicks. Uh, the waist piece, you do have to put some pressure on the waist piece to get it to stay in place, but it just kind of pressure clicks right there onto his waist piece. There we go. And then the legs, like I said before, the legs are a bit tricky, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. You just want to kind of take the foot in there like that. So you get that, so that little tab should fit right there in that little piece. And then once you get that all lined up, you just kind of put your finger back here, your thumb here, and just click it back into place. Flip that up. Easy as pie. And then again, line it up, get that tab right there, behind there, and then thumb and finger, just click it back into place and flip it up. And there you have Shadow Commander. Um, he does have the gun that you can have him hold like this as a missile launcher, or you can flip it around and have him hold it like this as the uh, giant gun on his arm there. Um, just like on City Commander, you can store his guns, either pointing down or pointing up. I like to have him pointing down, um, either way. And also, if you want to have him hold his gun, uh, you can put this little clip back here in this post, and he can store his sword on his back. Um, or if you want, um, since I usually have him holding the sword, I usually just store this clip right here in his shoulder, twist it around, it'll fit right in there, and then store, as usual, this gun back here. And then he can hold the sword. Um, he can't hold the sword in, uh, just as uh, Nemesis Prime. If you want to take all the armor off, he can still hold that sword in his smaller robot form. Um, and again, the big gun can there. And just like I showed you on Ultra Magnus, um, if you want, you can... This little groove right here um, and this little tab on the back of him, you can just snap this right into place. It takes some pressure, but it'll, it'll click on there and stay. Uh, so you can carry that giant gun like a backpack. Now, in just a quick comparison, if you just want to see the differences, um, here he is next to the City Commander set. Um, but very cool. Um, I know it's called Shadow Commander. Um, I've actually just started calling this guy Shadow Convoy. Because um, I think it sounds cool. Um, so Ultra Magnus and Shadow Convoy. Um, two great figures uh, we'll focusing here on the fans project shadow commander set um, they still have some available at big bad toy store um, you can find them online um, definitely a high quality set worth picking up